So today we are back with, you guessed it, another craft. And this one is going to be for our mommies, okay? So we are going to make a gift for our mommies because we're so grateful for them. And if you didn't know, go tell your mommy happy Mother's Day because today is Mother's Day. And that's a very special day because we're so grateful for our moms and all that they do for us. And today is a day that we say, thank you, Jesus, for the mommy you put in my life. And thank you for everything she does for me. And so we want to give her something. So we're going to make a little gift for her. And I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, so like I said, we're making a gift for our mamas today. And that gift is going to be a bouquet of flowers. So let me show you what we're going to need to make the bouquet of flowers. You're going to need a construction piece of paper. It's a thicker piece of paper. And if you don't have this, that's okay. But I really recommend trying to get a piece of construction paper because it's just going to come out better. You're going to want a bunch of different colored pieces of paper. And if you don't have a bunch of different colors of piece of paper, maybe get, if you have a box of crayons, that's perfect. So you can color the little flowers we're going to be making. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pen, some markers for coloring the flowers, and you're gonna need glue and some ribbon. At, once we put all of this together, we're going to be making this. And it's so, so cute. I'll leave you a little show, look. It's so cute. And it's gonna be perfect. So, okay, first things first, we're gonna take our big piece of paper, our construction paper. And I have mine landscape, which means long ways. And I'm gonna fold that this way so that it's kind of, I don't know if you've ever heard this, but there's hot dog, there's hot dog, and that's where it's long, and there's hamburger. And I'm gonna fold mine like a hamburger. Now, when you fold your paper, you're going to have a side that is closed like this, and you're gonna have a side that opens up like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the side that opens up and you're gonna put three fingers just like that. And I'm gonna put a little line here and I'm gonna take that line and I'm gonna go all the way across this way. You don't need this line to be straight. It's just gonna be a little bit of a guideline and a help. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut on the folded side and you're gonna cut like this all the way down to the line. And you're gonna cut the lines all the way, all the way over. And each one of these slits is gonna be about the size of your pinky or your finger, your pointer finger. When you're done with all of that, you're gonna have a piece of paper that looks a little bit like this, where all of these things go like that. Then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put some glue right, I think glue sticks works best for this, but you could use regular glue too. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some glue right here, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this side and you're gonna scrunch up, you're gonna scrunch up the little things a little bit. And you're gonna stick it right there so that you kind of have a little tunnel in there. Just like this, do you see how there's a little tunnel? So it's, it's scrunched up a little bit. And so you're gonna stick it like this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. Okay, so then we're gonna start rolling our paper. And I'm gonna go like this. And then you pick it up and it's a little easier to do it this way. And you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it just like that. And then you're gonna take this edge, once it's all rolled up, and you're gonna put a little glue, and then you're gonna roll it just like this, and you're gonna stick it like this. And you wanna make sure it okay, dries. So now I have all these different colored pieces of paper, all these fun colored pieces of paper, and I'm going to make little flowers to go on all of these things. Now, you might wanna make 10 flowers, you might wanna make 20 flowers. The more flowers, the bigger your bouquet is gonna look. 
it, it's everybody's flowers are going to look different so you get to choose what kind of flowers you want to make and so i'm going to take my pieces of paper and i'm going to draw my flowers and i'm going to draw a bunch of different flowers but what i found was really special is if you go on top of your flowers and you kind of color on top of them to make them look really cute like that then you'll go in and cut all of your flowers out and you'll go all around and you'll cut your flowers out now i did this ahead of time for time's sake and so i have a bunch of little flowers cut out already and so i thought you might want to put glitter on your flowers if you have glitter at home you can put whatever you want to put on your flowers mine look like this but yours probably won't look like mine and that's really special because not all flowers look the same right just like not all of us look the same and so it's really special to have different colored things on your bouquet so it represents you and your mama is gonna love that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first I'm gonna take my bow and I'm gonna do my bow because if you do your flowers and then your bow, your flowers might fall off while you're trying to put your bow on. So I'm just gonna take a ribbon, just like that. And I'm just gonna do a bow like this. I'm just gonna tie it, kind of like you would tie your shoes. I know you guys know how to tie your shoes. It's super easy. Maybe you have a Christmas bow. Um, maybe you have something different at home. And that's, that's fine if you want to use, you choose, you choose what kind of a bow you want to do. So your bow should look like this. Your bow should probably, I mean, my bow does not look the best today because my fingers, I think, got a little bit thicker from the cookies I ate last night, but that's okay. And so my mama's going to love my bow anyway. She's not going to care, right? And so your bow might look like mine. It might look better than mine. And that is probably better for you. But <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to our flowers and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with our flowers. So I'm gonna take my little branches and my flowers and I'm gonna do a little bit of glue on my flowers and each flower I'm gonna put on the edge and I'm gonna show you, I put it on the edge of my branch so that it falls kind of like that and it really pops out so let me show you with one that's a little bit brighter so you can kind of see i'm gonna put it like this on here and then i take my flower and i grab my branch and i put it right there okay so once you get all your flowers on your little bouquet at the end it should look a little like this okay and so this is you're gonna be your final product and i hope you guys have a lot of fun making things for your mom and it's a really fun surprise for your mom and she really loves them and i know she's going to make sure that you tag me and tag calvario on facebook so i can see all the little gifts you guys have for your moms um and all the smiles on your faces Love on your mamas today. Give them a lot of love, lots of hugs, lots of kisses. And say thank you, mama, for doing everything you do, for cooking, for cleaning, for going to work, and just doing all the things that you do for me every day. Okay? Have a blessed week. I love you all. Bye.